listening to Thelma FM playing records and reminiscences. Welcome, and you are listening to Forgotten Songs from the Broom Cupboard from Thelma FM. And instead of giving this show a number, I'm going to tell you who is in it. We have Lonnie Donegan, a couple from Eartha Kit, Patty Page, Kenny Roberts, and the brilliantly named Muggsy Spanier, and separately, Wingy Manone. And then we've got Milt Hearth. We've got a whole lot, in fact, ending with my record of the day, Sugar Child Robinson. But let's begin where we finished off on a other another show with a little bit of skiffle. And this is Lonnie Donegan's first big hit, Rock Island Line. <laughs> This here's the story about the Rock Island Line. The Rock Island Line, she runs down into New Orleans. And just outside of New Orleans, there's a big toll gate. And all the trains that go through the toll gate, while well, they, they got to pay the man some money. But of course, if you've got certain things on board, you're okay, you don't have to pay a man nothing. And just now, we see a train, she coming down the line. And when she come up near the toll gate, the driver, he shout down to the man, he say, I got pigs, I got a horses, I got cows, I got sheep, I got all livestock, I got all livestock, I got all livestock. And the man say, well, you all right, boy, just get on through, you don't have to pay me nothing. And the train go through. And when he go through the toll gate, the train got up a little bit of steam and a little bit of speed. And when the driver think he's safely on the other side, he shout back down the line to the man. He said, I fooled you, I fooled you. I got the pig iron, I got the pig iron, I got all pig iron. Now I'll tell you where I'm going, boy. Down the Rock Island Line, she's a mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is a road to ride, yes. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. And if you own the ride, you got to ride it like you find to get your ticket at the station on the Rock Island Line. I may be right, I may be wrong. You know you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. Down the Rock Island Line, she's a mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is a road to ride, yes. The Rock Island Line is a mighty good road. And if you own the ride, you got to ride it like you find to get your ticket at the station on the Rock Island Line. I'm safe from sin. The good Lord's coming for to see me again. Hey. Down the Rock Island Line, she's the mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is the road to ride. Yeah, the Rock Island Line is the mighty good road. And if you want to ride, you gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station on the Rock Island Line. A B C W H Y Z. Cats on the cover, but he don't see me. Down the Rock Island Line, she's the mighty good road. The Rock Island Line is the road to ride. Yeah, the Rock Island Line is the mighty good road. I do like a nice raucous start to the show, and that's always provided by the likes of Lonnie Donegan. Now, the Rock Iron Lion was a hit, a number one, in fact, in 1956 for Lonnie Donegan. And the Lonnie Donegan skiffle group comprised of himself, Chris Barber on bass, and Beryl Bryden at that point, who was on Washboard, which you do associate, don't you, with uh, skiffle. It has a long history. The actual song first came about or appeared as a early as 1929, first recorded by a group of prisoners in Arkansas prison in 1934, where Lead Belly kind of um, took charge of the song and made uh, made a hit out of it. And then Lonnie Donegan, uh, over this side of the Atlantic, kind of made it his own. And... Johnny Cash recorded it in the 60s. It was actually uh, Lonnie Donegan's version that he um, recorded and not Lead Bellies because of certain um, lyrics change between Lead Bellies and Donegan's versions. You listen to Forgotten Songs. This is a trawl through a collection of forgotten or lesser played songs. This next one is a complete departure from our normal uh, 78 records we do occasionally play vinyl but this is this is far far more up to date than anything we normally play i suspect this is 1980s it could be 1990s this record was handed in to us here at the uh, wee museum of memory 
And it's very much a local record. We are based in Edinburgh and we are based in the Leith part of Edinburgh. Um, And this is called The Waters of Leith and it's by John or Jay Sutcliffe. Um, there's an acoustic and electric version of of this on either side of this 45 record. It's an End Products record. As I say, I know nothing else about it. I've not been able to find anything out about uh, Jay Sutcliffe. If anyone knows anything about him, please message us on our Thelma FM Facebook page. Intriguing. As I say, uh, bear with it because it's not our normal sort of repertoire. gets cut What do you do when you're out of luck You're in the groove Now you're in a rut Nobody listened when we sang our song They tried to tell us that we were wrong they said that we'd be better off this way Said we'd know come judgment day They never told us it starts today The battered streets are empty now Battered dreams, they seem somehow Asking the waters of me To take the edge of reality Crushing the spark of sanity How can we fight if we can't be free? Passing the waters of me The once proud ships Sail no more. The, waters of the docks are quiet, the buildings rot. The waters of no jobs to bring the bacon home. A project you can't call your own. Solidarity is a joke when you stand alone. Hunters came from their ivory towers. Passing the waters of me. They gave us a gift. Hmm, not the most cheeriest of records, is it? Uh, Jay Sutcliffe with The Waters of Leith, very much about the gentrification and redevelopment of Leith, which is still a concern for people living here, but uh, very, very intrigued to know who Jay Sutcliffe was and if anyone knows anything about him or anyone that was on that record. Let's get the mood uh, a little bit more cheery although this is a very relaxing song uh but i think we can rely on eartha kit to give us a a pretty good song this is african lullaby with some incredibly lovely lush orchestration by um henri rennie who did a lot of orchestration for eartha kit but that's that's get down to eartha What 
to mingi mi kucheza wato to mwanataka afrika ku Apologies there, there's a little bit of a scratchy or end to that there, but you can't say you don't get variety on this programme, can you? The uh, the, ra- the lament about uh, Leith there, but the, before Eartha, and then those beautiful tones of Eartha's voice. Uh, we go on to Patty Page, and this is a South African pressing of one of her records, uh, as I said before about Patty, she's one of those unique artists, or rare artists, should I say, who has had a hit in five separate decades. I like her. Don't he- often hear. Oh, what's. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, let's see. You can t- tell I'm playing live from records because that slipped off the turntable. Anyway, let's get to Patty. <laughs> For just a chance to love you Would I love you, love you, love you To take you in my arms Has always been my goal Sure as there's a moon above you Would I love you, love you, love you With all my heart With all my heart and soul If you ask me Would I love you if you let me Eyes that see your eyes that know Would I love you? What a question When I'm yearning so Oh, for just a chance to love you Would I love you, love you, love you To take you in my arms Has always been my goal Sure as there's a moon above you Would I love you, love you, love you With all my heart and soul With all my heart Would I love you? What a question when I'm yearning so Oh, for just the chance to love you There's a moon above you Would I love you, love you, love you With all my heart and soul With all my heart and soul 
I do like an ending with a bit of a flourish. That was Patty Page with Would I Love You. Now, we're playing these records, as I hinted at the beginning of that one, from 78 Records or Vinyl Records directly. There's no digital downloads in this hour, certainly. Uh, So they are in, sometimes they've come to us as donations, or I brought them in charity thrift shops. So they come to us sometimes a little bit scratchy, a little bit used, a little bit pre-loved, I think is the word. Uh, We're going back to Eartha Kitt, and uh, this is, I don't recall, actually, apart from this track, ever playing anything that's actually in Turkish. This is Asga Dara, subtitled, Oh Those Turks, and it is indeed. Eartha liked to sing stuff in different languages, and this is in Turkish. Üşküdara giderken aldı da bir yağmur Üşküdara giderken aldı da bir yağmur Katibimin satırızı uzun etey camur Katibimin satırızı uzun etey camur Katib uykudan uyanmış gözleri mahmur Katib uykudan uyanmış gözleri mahmur Katibin min bin katibin el karışur Katibin mi satırıtı palto ne güzel yaraşur Üşküdara is a little town in Turkey And in the old days, many women had male secretaries. Oh well, that's Turkey. Üşküdara giderken bir mendil buldum. Üşküdara giderken bir mendil buldum. Mendilemen içine de lokum doldurdum. Mendilemen içine de lokum doldurdum. They take a trip from Ushkodara in the rain, and on the way they fall in love. He's wearing a stiff collar and a full dress suit. She looks at him longingly through her veil and casually feeds him candy. Oh, those Turks. <laughs> Kati benim bin kati ben el karışur Kati ben mehkolalı da gömlek ne güzel yaraşur Kati ben me ara iken yandım da buldum Kati ben me ara iken yandım da buldum Ushgadara there from Eartha Kit. You even get a talking in the middle. I mean, what isn't there to not like about that? Uh, and that, again, was orchestration by Henri Rennie, who did a lot of her accompaniment. Uh, we're going to move on um, later in the decade for our next one. That was 1953. You are listening to Forgotten Songs from the Broom Cupboard. It, this is a production of Thelma FM, and that is the broadcasting arm of the Living Memory Association, a reminiscence oral history project based in Edinburgh. And we have premises. We have a hands-on museum at Ocean Terminal Shopping Centre, open seven days a week you're welcome to come along and visit us if you want further information about us look on our website www.livingmemory.org.uk next up is kenny roberts with broken teenage 
heart. Easy broken teenage heart You were cheated from the start They lied to you, hurt you through and through Easy broken teenage heart Promises like bubbles all burst in the air And now you know that all alone you were the only one to care Easy broken teenage heart The plans you made all fell apart is full of dreams easy broken teenage See, that was quite pleasant, really, wasn't it? That was Kenny Roberts, uh, very much in the tradition of that uh, country slide guitar, even a bit of yodeling. Now, Kenny Roberts was in a band called the Homelanders, strangely enough, and that was Bill Haley. And it is, well, not legend, uh, it is actually true that Kenny Roberts taught Bill Haley to yodel. Not something you associate Bill Haley with. I think he found uh, even more success not yodeling. So that's late 50s. Now we're going right back to 1912. We're not probably going to play all of this or very much. I'm certainly not starting at the beginning because it is considerably uh, faded and crackly at the beginning. But this is a right old Scottish song. In fact, it says Scots song in it, or Scotch song. Um, Just a wee Doc and Doris, and I'll tell you a little bit what I can about this after we've heard part of it. Just a wee drop, that's all. Just a wee joke and Doris before we gang a wall. Just a wee wife in waiting in the wee bus and bed. If you can see, it's a blow break, moon leg, leg. You're all right, you can. Part in friendship, I and all we do agree. Life is too short for enmity, and the world is far too weak. So drink this way as three times three, and we'll match the welkin ring. 
the treasure voices up with me and let me hear you sing. Just a wee dog and Doris, just a wee drop, that's all. Just a wee dog and Doris, before we gang a war. Just a wee wife and waiting, and a wee butt and Ben. As you can see, it's a blow break moonlight night. You're all right, you can. I think we'll fade it out there, but I think it did pretty well for a record that's 108 years old. That's on the Winner record label. And in case you're wondering, because just a wee Doc and Doris, you're thinking something to do with a woman, Doris? Indeed not. Doc and Doris is literally translate as drink of the door. And it's a Scots term for that last drink before you're leaving. So uh, that explains that. Uh, as I say, 1912, that, and it's sung by H. Merrilies. I can find no reference to H. Merrilies, what that H stood for. On the other side of that is Bonnie Lizzie Lindsay, and that's by Jock McRae. The only reference I can find to that online is actually just to that record. There's no information about the singers of either side. Um, right, OK, we're getting into more familiar territory for Forgotten Songs. This is Muggsy Spania, and it's the... Uh, I do like a good title. And this is Hesitating Blues. <laughs> Muggsy Spanner with Hesitating Blues, which is a 
Great title, and that is a great track. Muggsy started, began playing in a band in 1921 when he was, I think he was about 13, um, and he retired in 1964. He was a cornet player. He got the name from a manager of New York Giants baseball team, Muggsy McGraw. Marvellous, isn't it? What could be better than uh, doubling up there with Muggsy? With Wingy Malone. I mean, God, these names. It's not only great music, but they've actually got really great names. Oh, Florida, down the way. Oh, Florida, Mexico. Oh, Florida, down the way. Well, I'll deep in Mexico. Can you sing an old border down the way? What do you mean about that? Man, you sing like you've got the blues. Boy, if you had a border living in your house that didn't pay no rent for six weeks, you'd have the blues too. And not only that, my wife fell in love with him and went south with the border. And he promised to pay me manana, but manana never came. And I waited and waited and waited Till I almost went in vain South with the border She rode down the way There in a veil of white By candlelight I knelt down the grave If he'd return her I'd be all so gay South with my border And wife left today Ah, yeah, yeah no rent today. Aye, aye. They've gone away. Say, landlord, man, I know how you feel. Suppose you take that supper that you've got there and play something hot. And if they hear you, they might come back up here to see you right here on this spot. Boy, any time they're gone out of six weeks, you'll never hear from them no more. You might as well tell both of them goodbye. Yes, sir. Oh, I love that. That was Wingy Manone. Um, And Wingy got his name because, in fact, he lost his arm at the age of 10 in a streetcar accident. So he had a prosthesis, which apparently wore with such flair and so naturally that few people realised he actually had a false arm. Uh, He was a trumpet player and he also possessed that fantastic gravelly voice. Did um, Now, he was quite common in practice back in the day was to do several versions of a song for different markets, which he would do. Uh, and then he would do an instrumental version for non-speaking, uh, non-English speaking market. Um, right. Well, I mean, a show can't really go past. We've had Eartha, a firm favourite of mine. And now, of course, we have to have some Fats Waller. This is the other side of um, the last show I did was playing um, Your Feet's Too Big. No, it wasn't. It was... Ah, oh, I've forgotten. Anyway, this is Shortening Bread. Shot and bread, shot and bread. 
we're gonna make some chocolate bread, chocolate bread, chocolate bread, chocolate bread. Mama gonna make some chocolate bread. Get that wood out out of the shed. Oh, mother, look at that. Boys, mother's gonna make some shortening bread. Two Senegambians laying in bed. One turn over to the open set. Fine, 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 fine bread. Serve it, mama, serve it. Say delivery man, where have you been? Oh, mercy, it shows a sin. Mama, mama, don't be fast. Do not show your big, fine, shortening bread. Shortening bread. Shortening bread. Mama's gonna make some shortening bread. Shortening bread. Shortening bread. Shortening bread. He always ended his records with a lovely little message, or quite often with a lovely little message. Uh, I'm going to just flip this over and what was on the other side. Oh, my very good friend, The Milkman, of course, which I played last time round. If you want to listen to this show again, it's on 4pm on Saturday and Sunday on Thelma FM. You can get Thelma FM on your Alexa. You can get it on uh, the player on our web page. I will also be putting up next week. This will go up as a podcast on Apple Podcast, Deezer, Spotify and other podcast platforms. Uh, if just do a search for Forgotten Songs from the Broom Cupboard and you'll find it. I've got a whole back catalogue of stuff. There's already 10 episodes up there, but I will start putting up shows as I do them. Right, uh, slight change of place is the Milt Hearth Trio. And um, this is uh, very early. Hammond organ from Milt here, who was very much an exponent of the Hammond organ right from its development in 1935. <laughs> That really counts The temperature always mounts Wherever they play That funny rhythm they play It started on Journal Square And somebody heard it there He put it right on the air And now you hear it everywhere Uptown gave it new licks Downtown added some tricks No town makes it sound the same where it came from So if you don't feel so hot 
Go out to some Jersey spot And whether you're hip or not The Jersey bounce will make you swing Downtown added some tricks. No town makes it sound the same as where it came from. I can't have played that really all the way through before because I wasn't expecting some vocals, but I like that. I liked his vocals actually. Very straightforward stuff so that was from 1942 very early sound of the hammond organ uh very early sound also coming up of country music this is carson robinson and his pioneers um very much an early uh pioneer well, not pioneer but promoting country in the 1920s and 30s probably before it became all uh, grand old opry and nashville and sly guitarist uh i quite like this it's pared down stuff this is pals of the little red school in fancy i see faces so dear to me and i long to be with them once more where are my pals of the little red school they make like jimmy and jane new pals may come and new pals may go, but memories of old ones remain. Let me go back to that quaint little shack where I learned the great golden rule. Let me wander once more through that dreamland of yours. With my pals of the little red Ah oh dear, I think that uh, I think the uh, crackle in there was actually um, overbearing the poor whistling going on there. I hadn't realised it turned to that. I do clean these records, you know, before I play them. But as I said before, they have been played many times. They don't come to us in mint collector's condition. Now, if you thought that song was uh, slightly sentimental, you want to try this one. This is Matty O'Neill, Don't Sell Daddy Any More Whiskey. What a sorry, sorry tale this is going to be.
I don't know whether to laugh or cry, actually. Have you had enough? Good God. I don't think I realise that the baby cried all through that record. I'm not surprised. I think we were all feeling like that. By the end of it, that was Matty O'Neill from 1951. Don't sell Daddy any more whiskey. Her real name was Jean Chapel, um, but she was a regular at the Grand Old Opry, 1925 to 1995. On the other side of that... If you thought that was quite bad, um, or good, because you might have done, uh, is Little Rusty, which is a, a even more sentimental and traumatic song about a poor lad who's died and needs to dress up as a cowboy. Oh, God, I don't know if that's an uh, entertainment, but let's get back to some entertainment, shall we? This is the Cassini Club Orchestra from 1935 and delightfully 1930s, I would say. Oh, dear, I wish I could uh, actually queue up these records today. Let's try again. night and the whole world was sleeping with the shadows softly creeping from a window I had someone weeping in a lonely villa by the sea then she told how the romance had started how he left her broken hearted how they met how they loved how they parted in a lonely villa by the sea Then I tried to bring her consolation But it seems was all in vain For she said her heart had gone forever That she'd never love again Then she gave me a rose as a token All my love tales were unspoken there were two hearts that night that were broken In a lonely villa by the sea See, 
That's more like it, isn't it? That's Cassini Club Orchestra from 1935. I think it's George Barclay on vocals there. Uh, that's definitely much more like it. Let's get into the mood for my record of the programme. This is Jelly Roll Morton. This isn't my record, but it's a very good record um, of the programme. Um, and it's Whining Boy Blues, which, uh, you know, wow. What a title. Yes, I like that. Whining Boy Blues from Jelly Roll Morton. Now, I've been looking forward to this. I picked up this record on Saturday from a charity shop for £1.99. It's never heard of him to my shame. I always say that to my shame. Sugar Child Robinson later became Frank Robinson, uh, child protege. This record is Numbers Boogie from 1951. Self-taught, they say. Got onto the stage at the age of three. Actually did um, shows with Lionel Hampton, but Lionel Hampton couldn't take him on tour because of the child um, laws for work. Um, He was the first African-American to appear on the uh, White House Correspondents Association dinner, which he did in 1946. He performed in front of Harry S. Truman, the president, 
Uh, and he famously said, how am I doing, Mr. President? Which became his catchphrase. He retired in 1952, wanting to go back to school and college, where he actually got a degree in history and psychology. I'm happy to say he's not one of those sad stories of... Uh, child stars that didn't never made it properly into childhood and had to deal with issues no not him uh, he was very sensible and in 2016 in celebration of 70 years since he'd actually performed for harry s truman he was back at the white house performing for president obama Amazing. What a great story. Uh, even great. I'm not a great fan of um, child performers and child prodigies, shall we say. But hey, this guy was good when he was a young fella. This is Numbers Boogie. Thank you so much for listening to Forgotten Songs. Uh, there's lots more programs coming up and you will find them on our podcast channel. As I said, Apple, Deezer or Spotify. Um, and there's lots of other good programs that Thelma FM do too. As I say, we'll go out with good old Sugar Child Robinson. If, once again... Thank you. Oh!